Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to copy content from one site to another website. You might do this if you are building a new website offline and you want uh, your current content to be transferred to your new website. Or if you want to have multiple websites with the same content in it, then you also need to be able to copy the content. <clears throat> if you are going to content here, you can see the article manager. And then I go to the second page. And then I visit. the page here. This is the content. And then I go to the source code. I go to select everything here. Then I go to the page where I want to copy it. I go to click on article manager. I'm going to click on new I still have I still need the source code here I will click on OK now I have copied the content Copy the title and make it filtered. And I look at the publishing date. This this article was published on this date. And if I want it to keep that date in the current site, start publishing, create a date. But also change the meta text here meta description like <coughs> and then I click on save and close and now I've added this content here and I'm going to look in the main side Now it's showing the article. I also have several layouts. This is the blog style. And I have the portfolio style. I also have the magazine style. And the index style. And I also could choose to not make this filtered. If I don't make the article filtered, it won't show on the home page. So I could choose what I want want to post on the home page. If I want to change something in the content editor, like you can see, this is a very simple content editor. If you look at the content editor here, it has more options. How do you do that? Now you go to extensions, plugin manager, you go to editor tiny MCA, and 
and you could choose a lot of options here from generality advanced but I want extended so I'm going to click on save and close now I'm going to click on article manager and I will check back on the article there we go now we have the same functionality as in the other website this is now the same functionality as here I like some options when I'm editing text so that's why I added it Extend so extensions login manager Editor Tiny MC, and then we have to choose the functionality. So now we are going to add more content. Right to go manager, go back to the same. Go to article manager. Second page. So Joomla versus WordPress. So now clicking on the source code here. Click on Content, Article Manager, I click on New, I click on Source Code, I paste the text here, then I go to Home, to the, the website, then I click on Joomla versus WordPress, just do it like this and I click publishing publishing this date this just copy it and I click on save and close and I made this one featured then I refresh it and then another page is built so like you can see also has all the pages on the right here in the word this is the blo the magazine style of um, of the um, of the purity team and it shows the pages I've created here in this little thing looks actually very nice WordPress Might as well change the magazine thing as the main page because I really like this kind of style. Instead of what I have on the home.
Let's see where the magazine's down. So if I would like to go for the mini manager, main menu, I could make this main menu on the home page. I could make a default. So I click on home. And then if I go to local security, this magazine style will be the main page. Now we have look. Then I might also choose to just make the home page the default again. If I click on localhost purity, then it will show. The normal home page is the default, but you can set anything as a default. I can also choose the portfolio as a default if I like that. You are not stuck to a, a certain home page as a default for your website. So if you I, I chose the portfolio sign now as a default. So I, I refresh this page and now shows the portfolio as a default. If I like the YouTube gallery as a default, I select ho home. Then I go to the purity site and click refresh. If yes, now it's now it's in the YouTube page as a default, like you can see, it starts off the YouTube gallery items, YouTube channel items that I have here. It shows uh, it shows the items I have in my channel randomly. This one is now showing as a default. I'll make this one as a default. So this is how you work with the content of your website. You can change anything you like in your website. And that's how you use Joomla. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you will visit my channel soon to watch more of my tutorials.